Yesterday, the Uganda Human Rights Commission came up with the names of the victims of abduction. The Secretary General of NUP, David Lewis Rubongoya, came out and requested the Uganda Human, Human Rights Commission to come, to come out and investigate about the people who have been arrested by the regime. So the Uganda Human Rights Commission yesterday came out with a statement uh, written to David Lewis Rubongoya saying, and I quote, Investigations into NUP supporters reported missing. Your correspondence regarding the NUP supporters who were reported missing refer. The commission conducted investigation in Kampala, Wakiso, Nakaseke, Kassanda, and Mitiana and interacted with some individuals who had been released, as well as relatives of those who were reported to still be missing. This is to update you as follows. The commission has established that 12 people who were arrested and detained on the suspicion of committing several offenses and have since been arrested as indicated in the table below. Ja Jamshid, Kavuma Jamshid, uh, fifth, fifth, charged with malicious damage to property and granted court bail by the Mwanga to Road. Uh, uh, Chirumira, please note that Kavma Jamshid was arrested on the 5th November 2022 and released on 14th December. It, is, it was almost a month in detention. Chirumira Geoffrey Marvin arrested on the 5th November, the same day with Jamshid Kavma and released on 14th uh, December. Uh, Murembe Stephen, 5th November and released on the 14th December charged with malicious damage. They put very many people on the list. And I'm going to talk about the list which was released by the Uganda Human Rights Commission. For those who don't know, the Uganda Human Rights Commission is a commission which was put out, which was established by an act of parliament to fight for torture victims, to fight for human rights in Uganda. And it is a sign that shows that our country is still grappled, grappling with insecurity, grappling with abuse of human rights and many things as such. So in this video, I've come to talk about that, to give you the insight about the abductions and torture, but most importantly, the study materials we can learn from the politics of our nation. But before I do this, I want to let you know that if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. And if you're watching this video from a different platform, please head on to YouTube, type in Sula Mawagali. There is a lot of content of this nature. If your politics and economics is what you want, this will be definitely the right channel for you to subscribe to. I dedicate this video to Sech Toleko Yassin, a political prisoner who has been in incarceration for more than three years. The statement I read you confirmed that actually the police and its sister agencies have been arresting people, slapping charges like malicious damage, terrorism, and very many other uh, uh, offenses. Okay, We all know the security organs have been abducting opposition su supporters and prefer charges against them like sub subversive activities and others. In our country, if you're, you're an opposition leader, they cannot uh, charge you for being a politician. Of course, they will bring any other charges. When the chairperson of the Uganda Human Rights, Human Rights Commission uh, came out to address the media, she said that actually these people were not arrested because of politics, but because they made other offenses. <laughs> Why is Zamasanya Lazi? O put a month to gain the revu O put to do Navy Dada. Ava Mubali Bawe were police bonds, or Bali Bate were Kakaruka police. And to me, he failed to look through the walls. No politician, no opposition politician is arrested because of politics. Although they are arrested, they are arrested because of that. When Opposition politicians are, are, are caught. Different charges are put against them. We all remember when Chagwanyi was arrested in Arua. They, they put terrorism on him. Okay? And they sneaked guns into his room. 
I, I normally give this example. Bas- uh, the security op- operative uh, put charges on OBSJ for driving recklessly, even without even without him driving the car. So in most cases, when security agencies hold, uh, 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 arrest opposition uh, politicians and leaders, they come out with the charges which are outside politics. And I think to me, uh, the chairperson of the Uganda Human Rights Commission failed to address this. But also having this commission, it is a confirmation that Uganda is still uh, 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 grappling with uh, human rights abuses. Because in very many countries, because big democracies don't normally have these commissions, any country you go to and you find a commission of human rights, which was put out with an act of parliament, is a, a sign that it is still uh, backward when it comes to the fight of human rights. Okay? So, I've, I've ever done a video talking about the, uh, the Human Rights Commission. And if you miss it, I'm going to leave a link here in the description. First of all, our Ugandan Human Rights Commission has been in abeyance for very, for very many years. Not until politicians came out to uh, put it on the spot. The chairperson, Wangadia, kept a deaf ear throughout uh, from 20, I think 20, up to 2022. There are a lot of atrocities which were committed on NUP supporters with the chairperson keeping quiet. Okay, the chairperson uh, uh, w- when they put the Human Rights Commission on the spot, the chairperson came out to say that it wasn't fully constituted, and it, I think it was deliberate uh, uh, by the regime. Okay, because by that time, Genom Seven has, had not picked the deputy of the Human Rights Commission. But even with that, the chairperson had failed to address these issues, not until he was put on the spot. In fact, I take the. Human Rights Commission as one of the commissions which is toothless, yet it continues to take our taxpayers' money. Okay, although I may not advocate for its abolish uh, abolishment, however much it is toothless, it has started to wake up. Of course, that's my opinion. You can also tell me what you think by commenting on this video. Thank you very much for listening in. If this is your first time on this YouTube channel, I implore you to subscribe, like, and comment so that I can be motivated to do more of such videos. Peace.